So one day you're just vibing in your village, cornering the stock market and being ripped off by the booger pig's weekly turnip visit as usual. And you happen to look and think, dang, Daisy May got style. So, of course, you come up with the brilliant idea to completely rip it off. Walk, walk, fashion, baby! But something's missing. Your Daisy May cosplay doesn't seem quite right. Ah, of course, giant turnips. Here's a simple tutorial for how I made my turnips from Animal Crossing for my Daisy May cosplay. You will need a sealant for foam, such as Plasti Dip or glue, paints, I chose a grass green spray paint for the leaves, and basic acrylic paints for finer details, contact adhesive or a similar strong glue for adhering foam, thin sheets of craft foam for the leaves, I used basic 1mm foam from the local craft store, thicker foam for the leaf stems, this one here is 5mm EVA foam from Lumen's Workshop, some foam clay, and a styrofoam ball the size you want your turnip to be. Your turnip can be any size you like. I chose giant because I'm an overachiever. Get your foam clay out a small bit at a time. If it's slightly stiff, knead it until it's pliable again. Use your foam clay to spread a thin layer over the styrofoam ball to hide the texture. Cover the styrofoam ball entirely and set it aside to fully cure. This usually takes between 24 and 48 hours. Don't forget the little pointed nub on the base. If it turns out a little lumpy, you can sand it smoother. Or leave it looking organic. Let's start working on the leaves. I've created a free, downloadable paper pattern for the leaves and the stems for you to use. Just use the link to be directed to my Dropbox. You can make the leaves as small or as large as you'd like. For reference, the length of my leaf was 22cm or 8.5 inches. Cut the pattern out of paper first to make sure the size of your turnip and the leaves are proportional. Use the pattern to cut the leaves out of your thin craft foam. Each turnip has four leaves, so you'll need eight pieces in total. Optionally, you can also cut a thin strip of foam to hide the middle join and give the leaves a spine, or a midrib as I just googled and discovered. Take your glue or contact adhesive and glue the two halves of the leaves together. Make sure for this step you're wearing proper protective equipment and are in a well-ventilated room. Because the center seam of the leaf is curved, it's a little tricky to glue together, so just take your time. Once together, your leaf will come out naturally curved and appropriately leaf-looking? Leaf-like? Leafy? If you're a little messy with the glue like I am, here's where those thin strips of foam we cut earlier come in handy. They can be used to cover up any mistakes and smooth the seam line. Now we take our thicker foam and we cut the stalks out of them, one for each leaf. Foam smiths, look away, this is pretty horrifying. I'm a seamstress, so I'm barely passable at cutting foam at the best of times. Please don't judge me! I do my best to cut a shallow divot in the stem to help it bend inwards better. Then I add some more contact adhesive to the divot, squeeze it together into shape, and hope for the best. After that, it's just a matter of gluing the leaf and the stem together. I actually ended up trimming my stalk down a little because it looked a bit too long for my personal taste, but you decide how you want your leaves to look. Now it's time to paint. Let's start with the body of the turnip first. I ended up not sanding my turnip much because I thought the lumpiness made it look pretty cute and handmade. First and foremost, you want to prime the turnip. I used Plasti Dip, but you can use glue, Flex Bond, or any other primer to seal the foam clay and make it paintable. After priming, the turnip was painted an off-white colour. I found an eggshell sandy beige coloured acrylic in my paint stash, so I used that and an old sponge to dab a little texture gradient on the bottom. Then using some random brown acrylic, I touched it up with a few randomly placed dots to mimic how the turnip looks in the reference images. On to the leaves. Like the turnip, First you want to prime the foam before painting. I used a coat of craft glue first, then a standard spray paint primer. This was then followed by painting the entire leaf using green spray paint for even coverage. I used a lighter green acrylic paint to do the detailing work on the leaf by hand, first painting the stem and the midrib, and then the veins. Because I was using acrylic paint from my stash, it was pretty cheap and translucent, so I had to do multiple coats to make it as opaque as I wanted. Make sure to paint these details on both the inside and the outside of the leaf. This is what it looks like after the first coat of paint. 
after coat number two. And this is how the leaf came out looking. I ended up having to do three coats of paint in total. I could have done more coats, but I was making four turnips and I'd had enough of painting 16 individual leaves. My recommendation? Use a better quality, more opaque paint than what I was using. Now that we have all of our components painted, it's time to actually assemble the turnip. Because I made them oversized, just gluing the leaves on wouldn't be as stable as I wanted, so I needed to make a support. I cut some support rods from heavy gauge wire I had lying around. With one end of the wire cut at an angle, I carefully twisted it to pierce the foam of the stem and pushed it about halfway in. This will support the leaf and keep it upright while it's glued to the turnip. Make sure the wire stays in the middle of the foam and doesn't poke out. To keep the wire in place inside of the leaf stem, I took out the wire and covered it with contact adhesive. Then it was just a matter of sliding it back inside the stem and letting it dry. Look at how stable that looks already. Once all your leaves are wired up, it's time to attach them to the turnip. After positioning them where I wanted the leaf to go, I marked up the placement with pencil. Then I took a wire off cut and poked a hole through the foam clay and the styrofoam as a guide. I added more contact adhesive to the base of the stem and the wire, as well as the top of the turnip where the mark I had made for the stem went. This will help the contact adhesive bind to itself more thoroughly. And then finally you can combine the leaf and the turnip together. Your first leaf is on! Look how stable and sturdy it is! Repeat this with the other three leaves until all four are attached. Congratulations! You now have an adorable round little friend. Use it as a prop, a cosplay accessory, or to build a sizeable portfolio of bells on your island. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like my content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more instructional videos. If you'd like to keep up with my crafting, come visit me on my social media platforms linked down below. I'm Georgia Costumes on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you next time, and until then, stay crafty!